Today's video, we are going to be going through my December beauty empties. Hi there guys and welcome. I hope you're all doing absolutely fabulous today. Uh, yeah, so like I just said, today's video, we're going to go through my December beauty empties. There's quite a bit in here, um, so let's get started. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Come on over and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you. Hit that notification bell as well. It'll just let you know whenever I upload any videos. And of course, if you like this video, which I really hope that you do, please remember to smash that thumbs up button. It helps my channel out so so much right again like every video i do i'm gonna bring these out first because these are in every video i use these religiously every month so we have this it's by sanex and it is an antiperspirant a 24-hour antiperspirant and then we have this by impulse and it is hint of musk body spray so yeah so we're going to jump into the hair product to start off with so we have this it is it by uh, tresemme i can't talk today i'm really struggling and it's the color enhancing mask in the shade ash blonde um i have done a review on this i will link that up top there give it a click and go see what my thoughts are on it should we do all hair first yeah let's do all hair first so next we have this i've lost the top on it so excuse that uh, it is by gold world and it is bond pro repair and structure spray uh, so it says strength and resilience for weak fragile hair um i did use it it was very nice my hair felt very soft afterwards i think to feel the absolute benefit of this you would have to use it continuously um for a period of time obviously i've just used it for this amount of time and yeah my hair did feel really really conditioned um and, and beautiful um but I, I don't know if it helps strengthen it or not um i think i would need to use a few more bottles but i i liked it i really did like it i have this it is by frank body um and it is their scalp scrub um very nice scrub felt lovely on my scalp it wasn't too rough um and abrasive um yeah my hair and scalp really appreciated using this for sure then i have this this is by the brand be fresh and it's hot hair goals heat protection shine mist um i felt it worked very well as a heat protectant it really did i really enjoyed it um i don't think i got a lot of shine from it um no more than usual in any way my hair looked the same shine wise we have this it is by rituals and it is the ritual of myrrh uh, nourishing shampoo it's just an odd shampoo because i used a couple of masks uh this month so yeah i thought let's get through some of my odd shampoos and this was one of them and i loved it i'd love to get the matching conditioner and use them as a set that odd little shampoo i got through was this one uh, it is by well science lab and it's leaf and seed clear head and dandruff shampoo um yeah really really nice um you could definitely tell that this was an anti-dandruff shampoo i don't really have dandruff but it, it just i don't know it just left your hair and scalp like squeaky clean um yeah nice last hair product i have in my empties is this and um, so this is by the brand uh, pantene pro v miracles and it's the strong and long biotin and bamboo keratin reconstruction mask oh that was really long thing to say <laughs> um again i've done a video on this i will link that up top give it a click to go see what my thoughts are next i think we'll go through bits of makeup that i've managed to get through and um, so first up for the makeup empties is this and um, so this is by the brand beauty crop and it is glow milk mini mist it's a seal and set mist so set and spray and um, i actually really enjoyed using this um my makeup lasted a real decent amount of time um yeah I, i'm really loving the beauty crop products at the moment amazing next up we have this um so this is by the brand vita liberata and it is a beauty blur it's a primer and tinted face moisturizer in the shade lot i always call it latte <laughs> like the it sounds so common latte <laughs> i think that sounds a bit better um i didn't use it 
what it was meant for i used this as a little bronzer um so i used it just to do a little contour on my nose i used it just to put it here like like you do a bronzer um yeah i used it just to shape my face with it as well um yeah my face really really my face really like this my skin really like this that but yeah that's better um and it lasted absolute ages i have another few of these in my makeup drawer um different shades um i think i've got the darker shades as well uh which work just as nice so i'm super excited to get started on them um but yeah really enjoyed it Next, we have this uh, so this is by the brand may and it is a banana setting powder loved it absolutely loved it it's so nicely finely milled it's not cakey at all when you pop it on it's nice and brightening um yeah thoroughly enjoyed it would definitely like to have more of these to use it was a pleasure to use so we have this uh, so this is by the brand rimmel and it's last and finish 25 hour hydration boost full coverage lightweight foundation uh, i think this is in the shade yeah five uh, five zero five zero um it is fair porcelain um i have done a video on this i will link it up top there so yeah give it a click to find out what my thoughts are on this next up i have a waterproof mascara and it is by the brand rimmel again uh it's in the shade brown black um so i was using the brown black quite a lot um especially when i first started using the gym i don't wear any makeup when i go to the gym um now i don't when i first started I, I was having panic attacks and stuff i know it sounds so stupid i couldn't leave the house without putting something on and waterproof mascara it was it just made me feel a little bit better about myself i have pigmentation and what have you but i've now <laughs> definitely learned that bugger it i go to the gym at five o'clock in the morning i mean yes there is quite a few people there still but at five o'clock in the morning if people have a problem with me looking rough don't look <laughs> that's all i can say um but yeah really really nice mascara i think i've got one or two more of these in brown black and black um but yeah nice have you tried it last two makeup items i have are these uh, they are brow products so first up oh we have another rimmel one it is this and this is a wonderful brow 24 hour waterproof brow mascara with fibers i really like this i think i definitely bought it too light um but yeah that's how light it is i think i could have got a shade darker uh, for my brows um but i still got away with it it was still still really decent um and yeah the last thing we have is this so this is by ps it is a primark makeup item um and it is their brow sketch brow pencil uh, in the shade brown um it has a spoolie on one end um and then yeah it's a super fine little thing there obviously there's none there to show you but yeah um i don't normally like using brow pencils and stuff but i've started noticing i'm getting little ball patches and this eyebrow starts further back than this one i'm trying to grow this bit back oh my god this is definitely coming handy um yeah i'm definitely getting into my brow pencils now uh yeah so i got through some perfumes um so we have this one it is by primark it is ps and it is called free um let me just remind myself of <sighs> yeah it's such a expensive smell um and it sticks around for a good little while it doesn't disappear straight away which is great decent little size to pop in your handbag um, and if it goes missing you're not too worried because it's quite cheap because it's from Primark and um, so yeah definitely will buy more and then we have two little samples which are hairy <laughs> nice um, so we have this one by next it is just pink um, I've had quite a few just pink perfumes throughout I don't know how long have I been doing beauty empties for a year a year and a half ish um, and it's not my favourite scent, but it's there and I used it. I didn't want to waste it. The other one I have is this one. 
It is by the brand Ellie Saab and it's Girl of Now. This is so nice. It's annoying because there's a tiny bit in there and I'm doing that and nothing's coming out and I want to use the last little bit and it's not coming out. But yeah, that scent is also good. Right, so I've got skincare, which I'm going to keep till last. I've got kind of like a little miscellaneous bit on the side here. Um, yeah, let's just plow through it. So I actually did find one more hair product. Do apologise. This was hiding. Um, so this is by the brand Baptiste and it is a dry shampoo. It is their original clean one. Um, very decent shampoo, very cheap shampoo. It does leave a lot of white residue on the hair. Um, so make sure you mix that in good and proper. But for the price point, yeah, I, I don't mind it at all because it's so affordable and it's definitely my main fallback shampoo. Uh, my most favourite one is quite expensive um, and I can't buy it all the time. So yeah, this does come in handy. Right, next we have this. Um, this is by the brand Bubble Tea and it is a creamy vanilla milkshake bath and shower gel. Um, I use this in my shower and guys vanilla this vanilla scent is so good so so good you can tell it's it's a fake vanilla scent but it's nice and sweet and girly and a playful scent i i would love another one of these it's it's such a sweet scent mm, nice. so we have this it is by the brand sukin and it is their radiance gel cleanser um it is brightening this is my second one i've had of these i'm sure it is and yeah i'm i enjoyed it yet again would definitely like more i think this is the last one i've got though um but it my skin felt squeaky clean afterwards, but it didn't feel dry and tight, um, which nobody wants that feeling. But yeah, lush. A product by Morad. And yeah, this is the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, this was really nice on the skin. Um, it did its job, but it wasn't too abrasive. It was quite gentle on the skin. Um, my skin didn't react with it in any way, which was absolutely fabulous. I love this brand so much. Not really a beauty product, but we have this. This is by the brand Haute Ravine and it's a blocked nose relief nasal spray. You can get it from Tesco's, you can get it from Asda. Um, quite a decent price. Was it five, six pounds? Something like that. I have had two major heavy colds in the last six weeks um and this has helped so so much it's like magic in a bottle you spray it up your nose um and obviously breathe in deeply as you do uh each nostril um what i like to do i'm probably overusing it to be honest but i spray three sprays on one side three sprays on the other and within 60 seconds my blocked nose as long as you've got some tiny little air where you can just so you can actually snort it through snort it <laughs> sniff it through yeah within 60 seconds my airway was clear my nose was unblocked and yeah i have a few of these in my drawer i will not be without these because lifesaver skincare let's do skincare um so first up we have is this um, so this is by the brand Wildmint and it's Glow to Bed, a glow boosting botanical overnight cream. I have got a video on this. I will link it up top there. Go and check it out uh, to see what I think of this. It, that video is actually, there's a few products by this range. So yeah, check it out. Next, I have this. It is by Witch. Um, and this is a cleansing witch hazel toner for blemish prone, pro, blah, blah, prone skin. Oh yeah, wow. I, I'm not even going to try and say that again because <laughs> I'll mess it up again. Um, it helps to remove dead skin cells and fights blackheads. It's micellar water, uh, gentle and fragrance free with which hazel actors oil free. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed using it. it was so gentle on the skin um, and 
I did get blemishes, don't get me wrong, it didn't stop them dead in the tracks, but I, I felt like it did help prevent some of them. Um, yeah, nice little toner. Yeah, next we have this, it's by Diego Della Palma, and it is a vitamin C um, 24 hour brightening and anti wrinkle cream. I bought this um, when I went on my cruise in June. Um, I had some credits. Um, left us spent at the end of my cruise and this was one of the items I purchased because I'm really intrigued by this brand. I have I had a few makeup pieces here and there and I thought oh I'll want to try some of their skincare. Awesome. I love vitamin C. I love this brand. This is pricey, very, very pricey. Um I would I couldn't buy this on a whim every time I go to the shop, but I thoroughly enjoyed using this so much. Right, we have this by Dr. Botanicals and it is the Aloe Vera Superfood Eye Serum for dry skin. Um this was very pleasant on the skin. I'd literally put a drop on my finger and pop it under my eye, and then any excess I'd put on top of the eye it did feel nice and hydrated and it soaked into the skin um there was no tacky feel at the end of it it just soaked on in and yeah it was pleasant um i don't think yeah for, for dry skin um i was going to say if it was anything to do with wrinkles it did not help with that at all but definitely hydrating but it's yeah it doesn't mention anything here about wrinkles it just says dry <laughs> for dry skin um yeah i'd love another one of those next we have this by balance me and it is a tri molecular hyaluronic serum <laughs> um i use this so quick so quick it was good so good i've had quite a lot of their products off different beauty boxes that i unbox and this is one of my favorite products i've tried from them my husband just popped in there <laughs> and I, he's just gone and i've totally forgot what i was saying about this where was i yeah it's good i'd use it again <laughs> and the last product in my beauty empties is this little bad boy here this is by the brand E Cooking, and this is their peeling mask. Um, I've done a video on this. You want to check this one out. I will link it up top. Go and check it out if you want to know what my thoughts are on it. Right, guys. So this is my December beauty MDs, and wow, I seem to have got through another crap ton of products. So pat on the back for me. Well chuffed with that. Hopefully January brings the same. Um, any products that I've mentioned there that I've done a video on, I think there's five of them, four or five. I think there's five of them. Um, again, if you couldn't link, click them at the top, I will link them down below in the description box and I will link them in the comment box as well. Um, definitely worth checking them videos out, see what you think. Uh, are there any products here that you like to use? Any of your favourites? Are there any products here that you particularly don't like? Um, this month I was quite happy, there's nothing there that I disliked. It was pleasant, all pleasant enough, there was no I didn't say anything negative, did I? I don't think I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that brings us to a conclusion of this video. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.